Hey guys, it's Mike from PTZ Optics, and today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade your firmware on your new PTZ Optics Move 4K camera. Let's go. This video has been produced for PTZ Optics Move 4K day one customers. The web interface has most likely been updated by now since watching this video. So look at the description, and see if there's an updated link to watch the new video. So here's our overview of what we're gonna go over in the video. And I actually have a list here to uh, go over with you guys. So first we're gonna unbox our camera. We're gonna set the resolution on the camera. We're gonna plug the camera in. We're gonna open up ptzoptics.local to get access to the camera. We're gonna check the firmware. We're gonna update the firmware. And finally, we're gonna name our camera. Let's dive into it. Okay, your new PTZ Optics Move 4K camera or cameras just showed up at your door and you have already watched our unboxing video. If not, here's the link in the description to get caught up. Before we power up and plug in our camera, let's change the resolution dial on the back of the camera to pick what we want for our output. Use a flathead screwdriver to do this. You got the camera for 4K, right? Let's set it for 4K 60. We can always change it back to 1080 30 if we need to. We have a nifty chart on the bottom of the camera to let you know what dial number corresponds to the resolution. If you want to change the camera's resolution to 4K 60, let's set it to F. After we set our camera resolution, let's plug in our camera. Today we are using the PDZ Optics Move 4K 20X camera. Let's connect the camera to the network via Ethernet cable. Power over Ethernet, or PoE, allows you to power and control the camera all with one cable. As you can see, the camera has powered on and has completed the camera dance, what we affectionately call our reboot. So, with the camera connected to the network, we can now go to our URL and type in http colon forward slash forward slash ptzoptics.local to connect to the PTZ Optics web interface for the camera. Once there, we're gonna type in admin for the name and admin for the password. We can always update these later. Welcome to our web user interface. This awesome new UI is a convenient place to easily access almost any feature you can think of. Image adjustments, control options, setting profiles, and much more. It also has a tutorial function, perfect to help you navigate the settings as you get started. The new web UI also gives you the ability to check your firmware version and update it right from the browser, which is what we're here to do today. Let's look at the options on the left-hand side and pick the device info. It's the seventh option on the list. After we click that, we will be in the device information screen. Let's scroll down to the seventh option called check firmware version. Click the check button directly to the right. If the firmware is up to date, you will see a box pop up with the message, your firmware is up to date. If your firmware is not up to date, you will see the message pop up. Your firmware is not up to date with the new firmware file and two instructions saying one, click apply to download the new firmware in a change log and two, expand the advanced menu below to upgrade. So let's upgrade this firmware. The firmware will automatically download the correct files from our website straight to the desktop. It's so simple. Once you see the file finished downloading, scroll down to the bottom of the device info page and click the caret next to advanced. After clicking the caret, the firmware upload options appears. Let's click the select file from your computer button and let's select the firmware file and click the apply button. After you hit apply, a new message will appear. Firmware uploaded to the camera. The firmware upgrade process will take a few minutes to complete. The camera will restart a few times. Congratulations. Your camera has installed the new firmware and will reboot on its own. If you refresh the web interface page, you will have to log back in and type admin admin. If you want to double check it was done correctly, you can go back to the top of the page to check firmware version and click checked. The message you will receive is your firmware is up to date. Our last step is to rename our camera in the web interface. This is good practice with a multiple camera setup because you don't need to remember the IP addresses. This is found in the device info section at the very top of the page. Note, the camera has to be rebooted before it can be found as the new device name. If you change the name from PDZ Optics to Stage, 
You can always go to http colon forward slash forward slash the new device name then dot local to access the web interface instead of typing in the IP address. It is recommended that device names only contain letters A through Z, numbers 0 through 9, and a dash. Other characters in the name might be misinterpreted in the address. It's also recommended that the first character of the name should only be a letter. Once you have renamed the camera, click the apply button. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful for updating the firmware on your brand new PDZ Optics Move 4K camera. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, hit the subscribe button so you can continue to receive great content from us that we're producing every week. If you have any issues or problems at all, reach out to our support team. I have listed in the description below their contact information. I hope you've been enjoying your new PDZ Optics 4K cameras and we'll see you soon.